Hello everyone and welcome back to Voice. This week what we are going to do is start connecting imagery to what we do within our vocal work. Now, we as human beings think in pictures. That's what we do. That's why when somebody tells you a story, you go, oh, I see. Not I hear, because the information that they're telling you is connecting to pictures in your head. Now, sometimes it's better if you create the pictures yourselves, and sometimes it's better to go and find them or find them within your memory. But this week, what we are gonna do is we are going to take a Shakespeare monologue. We're gonna take a monologue from Romeo and Juliet. We are gonna take Mercutio's monologue, which is the Queen Mab speech. Now in it, Mercutio is talking about Queen Mab. So Romeo has just talked about a dream he had, and Mercutio is that friend who likes to give you crap all the time. And so what he decides to do is to make fun of Romeo. Oh, you had a dream, cool. Well, we all know who gives you dreams. And then he goes on this monologue about how ridiculous this person is that creates dreams. It's a fairy queen. But what I want you to do is I want you to sit down with a piece of paper. I want you to pull up the monologue. You can, I'm gonna give it to you, but you can also find it in online pretty much anywhere. And I want you to get some crayons or some colored pencils and I want you to look at the speech. Oh, then I see Queen Mab hath been with you. She is the fairy's midwife and comes in a shape no larger than an agate stone on the forefinger of an alderman. Now, your job is to draw out Queen Mab and her carriage. I want you to color it, draw it. I want it to be as beautiful and elaborate and ornate as you can make it. I want you to draw it. Do not find it you are going to create it. And what I want you to do is physically draw color and create the imagery of this monologue. Then what I want you to do is upload your picture and upload you saying the monologue. Because as soon as you've created the entire picture, then I want you to say the speech. See, often Shakespeare is scary because we don't know what we're saying. But if you do know what you're saying, and you have clear, concrete pictures in your head of what you're talking about, and you've made them, well, it'll be easier for you to connect. So now when you say, drawn by a team of little Atomi, well, we're gonna see what the little atoms that draw her carriage look like, and what her hazelnut shell of the carriage looks like. And if you don't know what a word is, Look it up, and then, with that knowledge, apply it to your drawing. Okay, everyone, I can't wait to see your drawings and how this works for you. And I'll see you soon.